To perform a standing water flush on an inboard engine compartment, start the decontamination unit according to standard operating procedure and measure the temperature until it reaches 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to wear all personal protective equipment. Confirm the drain plug is installed and begin flushing the engine compartment by holding the low pressure attachment close to the floor. Fill the compartment with 2 to 3 gallons of water, being careful not to overfill and submerge the engine. Pull the bilge and other appropriate drain plugs to drain the compartment. Continue flushing and have the boat owner turn on the bilge pump. Measure the exiting water until it reaches 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Once this temperature has been reached, instruct the boat owner to turn off the bilge pump. To decontaminate the inboard engine, raise the temperature of the decontamination unit and measure until the water reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the correct temperature has been reached, Fit the fake lake attachment over the engine intake on the underside of the hull. Using the adjustable arm, create a good seal around the intake. Depress the trigger and check to make sure the fake lake has not moved. Ask the boat owner to start the engine in neutral and stand clear of the propeller to avoid possible injury. Once the engine has started, water will circulate and exit the through hull fittings on the transom. Once the temperature of the exiting water reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit, ask the boat owner to stop the engine. It is important to keep the trigger depressed and water circulating through the engine until it has been turned off. Carefully detach the fake lake from the inboard engine intake. Hot water remaining in the fake lake can cause harm. Follow standard operating procedure to shut down the decontamination unit, being certain to depressurize the water line immediately. Remember, the goal of every inspection is no plants, no mud, no water, and no mussels in between each and every launch.